So, you know what a moor is? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about Howard Moore. I ain't talking about this guy right here. I said, since, since he, I'm bringing the enemy with me, I don't want him to break it down. <laughs> so now, we got a lot of so-called African-American people that, that say they, they Moors, but really they just Moorish conscious. They're not Moorish Americans. Because in order to be a Moorish American, you got to have allegiance to a state. So if you don't pledge allegiance to a state, then you're a stateless person. And stateless persons under international law mean basically you're a refugee. Okay? So, nation, a large group of people having a common origin, language, and tradition and usually constituting a political entity when a nation is coincident with a state, the term nation state is often used, also term nationality. Okay, explain that. Okay. And first, in order to be part of a nation, means you got to be part of a large group of people having a common origin, right? Meaning they're all from the same land. Language and tradition. They all speak the same, same language. language. They have the same mm -hmm. customs and traditions. Mm -hmm. And usually constitute a political entity, a government, some type of body of politics. And when a nation is coincident with a state, the term nation state is often used also term nationality. So there's no way you can have a nationality without being part of a state. That's plain and simple. It's, it's like common sense, not nonsense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, a national, this is out of aliens and immigration. A national is a, of or relating to a nation a member of a nation, nationwide in scope, with allegiance to and under the protection of a state. So what you want to be is an American national. But right now what you are is this, a United States national. This out of aliens and immigration too. And a United States national is a citizen of the United States or a non-citizen who owes a permanent allegiance to the United States, also termed U.S. national, U.S. citizen with the small c. Why the small c? Because it's not a first class citizen. It's not first class citizenship. What is first class citizenship? When you are a state citizen then you have first class citizenship. Okay, if I'm not going too fast, how do you become a state citizen? By pledging an oath of allegiance to the state that you're part of. Okay. What state you born in? Illinois. You, are, you think you're an Illinois state citizen? No. So what are you? What kind of citizen are you? I don't know. You had no clue? I have no clue. What kind of citizen are you? Ever since the feds came without bidding, I don't know no more. <laughs> so that's why I'm here, so I can find who I right, am. Right, but but what you been saying? Cause you've been telling people you some that you were sitting somewhere when they asked you what you been saying. More. More. You're more. Yeah. I recently for the past few years since I came into the knowledge of more who who I'm Supposed to be, that's what I've been telling them. I ain't been claiming that I'm a United States citizen. Okay, but you're that. not no more. You're just more conscious. Okay. Because you, you don't, you, what state you part of? See what I'm saying? Yeah. So therefore, you don't really have no more nationality because you're not part of a state. Okay. It's impossible. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Just off these little definitions <clears throat> right here, anybody should be able to understand this. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Really? So, if I ask you what state you part of, you're supposed to know that just like if somebody said, what's your mama name? Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you can't say it, then you're you not no national. Yeah, okay. Because the national got to lead you to a state, and therefore you shouldn't know what state you part of. Okay. Right? No, but you at least said what? When, if they ask you, a, a person born in the land, they ask him, 
his nationality and his country and all that, and they don't know it, then they class as undesirables. They throw him in jail and cast right. him out of the country and anything else that the right. real true citizens want to do to him, right? Right. Okay. So you got to know what state you're from. Okay, you tell me how to get you to the state. state. I do know more than you. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to this, nationality and citizenship, <clears throat> I know more than, than the average. And I even read in a book somewhere, they telling you that even the most uh, skilled lawyers don't really truly understand nationality and citizenship unless they've studied it. You have to study citizenship and nationality to really have a real understanding of it. If you don't study it, you don't. It's impossible for you to understand it. I know because they got so many different types of citizenships. And my understanding is, in order for them to become part of the bar association or to become an attorney, they have to give up citizenship. So it, it it's funny that they don't know it, and they're required to give it up just to become an attorney. Okay, let me ask you a question. Everybody that come to this country, what they give up to be a citizen here? They right. Their sovereignty? No, their citizenship and they, they birth land. They give up their nationality. Right. They give up their nationality. For what? United States citizenship. So they give up their nationality <coughs> to become a citizen of the, the corporate United States. Right. So they become part of the corporate world state. It's the corporate world state they, they, they join. <clears throat> okay? Not American citizens. U.S. citizens with the small c. Hmm. U.S. citizen with the small c and American citizen is two different things. Not the same. Not the same. See, people don't, they're not teaching people this. They don't understand. They don't teach this in school. What the USU man? Usually. Usually. You do. Okay. <clears throat> so now, they abolished slavery with the 13th Amendment, right? Mm -hmm. When they abolished slavery with the 13th Amendment, it was something black people didn't do that everybody else did. What they didn't do? Mm -hmm. They didn't form themselves into a state. Okay. Now understand, you being the people yourself are a state. Mm -hmm. Just by being a, a nation of people, God created you automatically a state. Okay. Okay. So the people themselves are the state. But it's okay. certain what things you got to do to line your state up to be able to roll. Okay. You got to line up with the law of God, the way God got things laid out. So if you don't line up with all the prerequisites, you can't roll. Mm -hmm. So black people out of slavery didn't line up with all the prerequisites and therefore they couldn't roll. So the United States came out with the 14th Amendment and created this U.S. citizenship for them. Because none of the states would grant to them citizenship. Which again is showing you the power the states have. The states can determine whoever they want to be their citizens and who they don't want to be their citizens. Mm -hmm. And they did not want black people to be their citizens. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the United States government with the 14th Amendment created this U.S. citizen. And right here in Aliens and Immigration, they letting you know that you're the non-citizen who owe a permanent allegiance to the United States term U.S. national, also term U.S. citizen. Okay? So, a U.S. citizen and a U.S. national, they synonyms. These synonyms. But you don't want to be a U.S. national. You're trying to get out of that status. Right, right. And you want to become a American national, okay. which means you're from America. You're a national of America. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, nation. Well, nationality. Nation. The relationship between the citizen of a nation and the nation itself customarily involving allegiance by the citizen and protection by the state. Membership in a nation. 
The term is synonymous with citizenship. The formal relationship between a ship and the nation under whose flag the ship sailed. See that flag? Mm -hmm. So on the pirate movies, they just pull the thing out and do what? Look for the sail on the pirate. They look for the flag. Right. The flag don't say it's some black people or white people do it. It say what? It's the British. It's right. the Portuguese. It's the Italians. Right. Right? <clears throat> right. Okay. So the flag shows what? Nationality. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. So they telling you right here that nation is synonymous with citizenship. So you got a lot of Moors, they be like a citizen, that's that's somebody that's subject. That's a slave. Right. Everybody's slaves. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. Ain't no such thing, there's no free people. Okay. No such thing. That's a misnomer. Everybody think, you know, they I'm free, good green, be I'm free, I'm free man, I'm sovereign, I'm Oh, that's garbage. That's BS. Right. Now, how you know that's garbage and that's BS? Because they're enslaving you some type of way, through work and through... Uh, how else you know this? How else do you know? Yeah, uh, how you know this? Give me the facts to back that up. I say ain't nobody sovereign, ain't nobody sovereign, and ain't no Cause, free people. So, now. Because the government always want to have control over you. They ain't letting you Is go that why? You know? is, it, is it the government? It's what you allow them to do. It, it, is it what you allow them to do? Yeah, you got to. If, if you let them do it, that's so, what you do. So do you think that's wrong? Yeah, I do. You think that's wrong? Yeah, and I'm wrong for letting them do it. You think so? Yeah. I'm going to prove you wrong right now. Watch this. On my bike with Okay, go ahead. Watch this here. I'm going to show you. See, the Bible is the foundation of law. Okay. And you being a preacher or pastor? Preacher. You should know this. Now watch this. Watch how fast I straighten you right up. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Straighten you right up. Okay. Make me straight now. I'm <laughs> straighten you, right. you right on up. Watch this. Watch how simple this is. See, the problem is a lot of people don't forget the true law of God, and so they out of law. And see, when you when you start back following the law in this book, then you are lying back up with law, and then when you line back up with law, then now you standing on something because now you in lined up. Okay, so watch out, watch this. Listen close. Mm -hmm. Let every person be in subjection to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those which exist are established by God. Therefore, he who resists authority has opposed the ordinance of God, and they who have opposed will receive condemnation upon themselves. For rulers are not a cause of fear for good behavior, but for evil. Do you want to have no fear of authority? Do what is good. And you will have praise from the same. For it is a minister of God to you for good. But if you do what is evil, be afraid. For it does not bear the sword for nothing. <laughs> but it is a minister of God, an avenger, who brings wrath upon the one who practices evil. See how I straighten you up? Mm -mm. Yeah, I straighten you up. You're going to have to break that down too. Break it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you just hear what it said? I just heard what it said. Okay, do you know, do you remember what you said that made me go get that, right? Yeah, I remember what I said. You said. I remember what I said. What you said? That. You shouldn't be doing what the government said. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm saying, you know you shouldn't. But I did say. What and you said you shouldn't subject yourself to the government. No. You only, see, you only. Yeah, that, Okay. That's what you said. That's, I ain't saying that ain't what I said. Okay. But tell I can me tell you said. why I said it. Tell me why you said it. In Matthew, it says you take no oath and no swear upon no one but to God. Because heaven is as strong, earth is as footstool. Now, with that being said, you got to keep in mind that that's been tampered with. Hold it. Stop. Stop the car. Stop the car. Stop the car. That's been tampered Stop the car. Stop the car. I'm going to show you where you're wrong. Because okay. you're wrong. You, 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 you trying to tell me about it. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. I can. I'm going to do it with this book. You read now what they, what they wrote. Ah, ah, you read now what they wrote. Listen, you just quoted Matthew. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. You said you're not supposed to say no. 
You ain't supposed to say no more oh from man. Pew. Okay, stop. Stop, period. Stop. Now watch this. I'm finna prove you wrong. I'm finna show you. Pay attention. See, okay, yeah, see, 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 that means you're gonna prove I, you wrong. You're gonna no. give me what you know. No, no, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Okay. You you can say you can prove no, you wrong. No, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Like I just did with this first no, right here when you no, said this. You didn't say this. I just gave you the truth of it. I finna, and I finna, I finna I straighten you right out. Watch. I finna straighten you right out. Watch okay. that. Okay. Uh -huh. First thing we gotta understand uh -huh. is who the state is. The state is your people. Okay. I said that when I was breaking the board down. Yeah, you did. Okay. So. Your state being your people. And now, when you establish a government, mm -hmm. that government is being established by who? Just read it. God. Okay? So, if we as a nation of people establish a government, we're not going to have an our state constitution. Mm -hmm. We got the right to kill other people and we enslaving people. and We, we ain't doing that. When we make our state constitution, we're going to make it using what? Godly principles. Mm -hmm. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now, by God being inside each one of us, mm -hmm. it's just like this law is coming directly from God. Okay? It's just like it. Listen. You said it's just like it. It is. It is. It's coming from God. <laughs> because you, you're basing it off godly principles and standards of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Mm -hmm. Of righteousness. Not bad things, good things. Okay. Right? Not for a certain group of people, but for all the people, right? Under your state constitution. That's what it does. So the state constitution is more than a state constitution. The state constitution is also a covenant that a nation of people is making with God, with uh -huh. their creator. That they make so them. therefore, with they create, uh -huh. you can pick up any constitution and read it. They asking for blessings, or they asking, they saying with profound reverence for the supreme ruler of the universe. They they acknowledging God in any state constitution. They are acknowledging God. That constitution is more than what people think. It is an actual covenant that nations of people are making with God, and this is where they getting their power and their authority from. And he just told you in his book, ain't no government have with no power or authority unless it come from God. Question. Yes. What God? Ain't but one God. It ain't but one? Ain't but one. It ain't but one. Ain't but one. Now the people who call themselves... And I can prove that too. Hold on, hold on. Now the people who call themselves establishing, how do you know it's under the God you believe in? Ain't but one God. No, no. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I prove. No, it's not. I prove. No, it's not. I'm going to prove it to you no, right not. now. You can't. I'm going to prove it to you right now. You, you want me to prove it to you? You can't. You can't. I can't. I just said I'm going to prove can't. it to you right now. Ask me to prove it. That's it. Don't keep telling me I can't. I said I can prove it. You can't. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm telling you. See, you, you I want to so fast. Listen. What? You talking, you talking about one guy. Is they talking about the same guy that you talking about? Yes. Can you prove that? Yes. Okay. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I'm going to prove it right now. You can't. Prove it to you right now. Watch that. You can't. You, look, I got witnesses. You can tell. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, no. No, no. Let me prove it. Let me prove it. You trying to tell me if it was a if it was an atheist or a Satanist believer in here right now, they believing in the same God you believe in. That's what I just asked you. I said, how can you prove I one God? Mm -hmm. We all know it's one God. Now, but I'm then again, now, no, no, I'm gonna no, no, say no, it one more time. Follow me. Listen, follow listen. me. No, no, listen, follow listen, listen, listen. I'm follow following me. you, but listen. I said I'm gonna prove it. Let me prove it. I want to hear You ain't got to keep is, talking. Is, is the Let God, me prove it. The God you talk, the God you talking about I'm gonna prove is, the, is the God, right? Yeah. Ain't but okay. one God. I just say ain't but one God. That's what you said. Okay, so I'm going to prove it. That's what you said. I'm going to prove it if you let me prove it. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. This is so simple. See, you got to start thinking with common sense and not nonsense. Watch this. Who do the Muslims pray to? Allah? Mm -hmm. That's what they say. <laughs> wow. Okay, then you got who else? Jehovah, how you spell that? G E or J? J. J. Okay. J E E V O V O N N. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. J E H O V A H. There you go. J E H O V A H. J E H O V A H. O V A H. 
What's another name? Who else out there? Elohim. Elohim. Buddha. E L O H I M. Elohim, right? Uh huh. What else? Buddha. Uh huh. Buddha. Yahweh. Yah. Y A H W E H. Yah. Okay. Yah. <laughs> Same thing. If it's Yah. Yeah, they say Yah. Y H. Okay, you want to spell it? Put the H on it. Y A H. H. Okay. Well. He said, what you say, Buddha? Buddha ain't no God. Buddha man. Okay. Okay. I, I, I just... I, Any other names? <laughs> I'm just asking that question. Any other names? He Christians say that. God, right? Right? They just say God, right? That's what everybody say, and that ain't no name. That ain't his name. Okay. That I'm ain't his saying, name. He has they, a name. Okay, but I'm saying, which one of these is his name? He has a name. Which one of these is his name? He has a name. Now watch this. It's so simple. Watch this. Now you say all these is different gods? Huh? No. Those are different names. I didn't say all those are different gods. I never said that. Okay. These different names, are they all the same god? I couldn't tell I know Yah Elohim and Jehovah, but God, that's, about that's a substitute by man. What about Allah? That's not his name. All of them. Allah is not his name? I don't know him as Allah. But I don't all know. Of those but I can't tell you that I can't tell you that ain't his name. Okay. What's your name? My name my name Anthony or Tony. Yeah. You got a middle name? What's yeah. your middle name? Cordell. Okay. So you got three names. So you can have three names, but God only got one name? That ain't what I said. But I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just asking. Yeah. Okay. So now yeah. check it out. God ain't his name. Check it out. I don't care what religion you go to. Guess what? I don't care what name they call God. Guess what? This guy right here the same in every every book and every story. He the same. That's how you know it ain't but one God, man. It's real simple. How, how you gonna have a different God but the same devil? In all the stories. With all the gods. It's the same devil, man. Same devil, every story. Come on. Same God, man. Ain't number one God. This real simple proof. Just think with some common sense and stop using nonsense, man. That's all we gotta do. See how simple, how easy I prove that? That's easy to prove. I don't care what book you pick up, the devil the same, man, in all of them. In the Quran, in the Holy Bible, in the whatever you want to read, the devil always the same. Same stories, man. Same stories, same God. Just different names. You got more than one name? Your mama gave you three names. You just said so. God can have more than one name as well. So we ain't I gonna know, see. I ain't never that fact. Okay, so God, God is the generic name. That's what I'm. I'm giving you facts on that. Okay, but well, God means good in German. I know what the word okay. God is. Okay. So I understand well, all that. You but, sense, though. but I'm saying I understand all that. But see, I ain't gotta go that far with it. See, that's what Moors love to do. That get to going into the etymology and all that. I ain't gotta do all that. What I'm doing is uh -huh. what I'm doing is lining you up with this law. Because, see, whether you know that God originated in German and it really means good and all that, it don't matter. What matters is do you understand this book so you can get on top where you're supposed to be as a nation. If you don't understand that, it don't matter what you know, what words mean, the etymology of you still don't know how to come back into power, what don't do you? See, I'm going to show you how to come back into power. Okay, okay, come on. Come I'm going to show you how to line back up with God. Because everything, okay. everything your God told you not to do, you doing it. That's why you upside down right now as a people. Yeah, yeah this is why black people upside down. Yeah, because they don't understand this. Because if they did, they done did. But see, they couldn't do it. You know why? Because he's telling you in the book why. He placed you in a stupor. He put you in a stupor. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So for a few hundred years, European people didn't let you read. Mm -hmm. They put you in a stupor. Your mind ain't thinking no more. You see what I'm saying? You ain't thinking for yourself no more. You letting them do all the thinking for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now you're in a time where guess what? It's time for you to start back thinking for yourself again. So now you're waking up. Now how do you know what I'm saying is true? Because it's in the book. It's telling you this. In this book. Crystal clear. Know what it's saying? Paul is talking to the European people. This is what he say. He say, don't get beside yourself. Mm -hmm. He say, remember that these is God's people. He's saying, don't 
ever forget, you're not better than the roots that support the branches. So black people is the roots of the tree. Uh, all people come from black people. Okay? So he telling them flat out, man, don't give a sign to them. Now don't forget these his people. So he then he tell them what? He say, look, he put them in a stupor. But the day we reach our fullness, he going to take the stupor off of them. So if you get on the internet right now and look it up, you'll see the European races declining, which means they reach their fullness. Mm -hmm. And now what your people doing? Waking up. Now we waking up. Mm -hmm. So he done removed the stupor. So the book don't last right on target if you know how to read it. First you need to know who you are in the book before mm -hmm. you can really understand it. Because ain't nothing in the book lying. Whether it's plagiarized or not, it ain't helping who you think it's, it's helping. Mm -hmm. The book is all in your favor when you know how to read it, but guess what? God said it. I'm place a veil over the book. Ain't nobody going to understand the true meaning of the book till later till I start revealing it. This till later. Now he revealed it. Mm -hmm. So now I can give you the true meaning of the book, which is what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? Because it ain't what you've been taught, and it ain't what you've been preaching. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I break it down like a science for you right out of the book. So you, so you know it's real. Okay? So now. Paul say this right in the book. Mm -hmm. He say, if you circumcise, Jesus ain't no benefit to you. You circumcise? Yeah, okay, he ain't no benefit to you then. See how simple that is? Mm -hmm. that, that ain't no peril. That's a straight out statement. Why if you circumcise, Jesus ain't no benefit to you? Why? Well, I, Paul had, I had a, a, a super argument with some Muslims about that, and they say that he was just trying to deceive the Jews by that statement. Right? No, he was not. No, he was not. I'm going to break it down for you. No, he was not. Okay. okay. Well, why, mm -hmm. why is, if you're circumcised, Jesus ain't no benefit to you? Why? And Paul tell you in the book, I'm going to tell you what he said. Listen close. He says... Jesus cannot come 370-some years later and do away with a covenant that God made with Abraham. So anybody that study contracts know nobody can come to the contract two individual people make. And they damn sure can't come to the contract that God made with somebody else. They can't do it. Can't do it. This is why he's saying, if you circumcise, he ain't no benefit to you. Because you are a part of a covenant that was made with Abraham. So, the problem that we have in the society today is black people mm -hmm. are trying to follow the religion of the European people, mm -hmm. which is called the New Covenant. Why is it called the New Covenant? See, black people thinking European people been lying to them, but they ain't. European people been doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Preaching Jesus. Why? What did Jesus say? I'm, I'm the doorway. The only way into the kingdom for y'all is through me. Who are you talking to when he say that? He ain't talking to us. He talking to the European people then. Because then what do he tell them? He say, remember, the least you do to one of my brethren, I'm going to do to you. So who is his brethren? The Jews, right? Who the real Jews? We are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now he letting them know He talking to the European people Paul is mm -hmm. preaching to the European people All you got to do is look at the back of the Bible Everywhere Paul went, he went all through Europe What did Jesus tell us? Don't go in the way of the Gentiles Stay out of the way of the Gentiles Don't practice the customs and traditions of the Gentiles That ain't for you He tell them mm -hmm. When you pray, you pray what? Our Father He let you know, man, I'm your brother I'm your brother when they pray, they need to pray what? In Jesus' name. Why? That's they done. Paul say that. He say, remember in Hosea? They ask, are you going to be our God? He say, no. From this day forward, y'all going to be the children of the living God. Who is the living God? Jesus. See? Mm -hmm. So now, so now, so now, Paul then turn around and mm -hmm. says this. He say, for we was without law. And had no God in the world. But now because of Jesus Christ. We are now citizens of the commonwealth. And the wall between us and them have been removed. See you got to know who you are in this book. To really understand it. You got to. You see what I'm saying? So this is a whole different book now. 
The way that I'm telling it to you, you can go through that, man, everything crystal clear. Black people is following the new covenant, and the new covenant is the covenant that God made with the European people through Jesus Christ to allow the European people to be able to come in under the wing of God, and he's telling you that in the book that he, he was going, he was taking some Gentiles unto himself as well, as a nation. Paul's saying it right in the book. He's breaking it down. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's what the new covenant is. The new covenant ain't this new part of the Bible. The new covenant is the new contract made with the European people, with the Gentiles, to allow them to now be able to come in under a covenant with God. So now, watch how Paul try to straighten you out. Watch this. This is what he said. Mm -hmm. First, they ask him, well, what's the difference in the circumcision? What make them so special? And Paul say, it's because to them, he gave his oracles to. He gave us the law. That's why we keep the law. We the keepers of the law. Mm -hmm. The tribe of Judah didn't get taken in captivity. They kept the Torah. We kept the Torah. He gave the law to us. We kept it. And anytime society plunges into darkness, 